Hello everyone, my name is Darren Kettles and I'm the Director of Admissions at Stetson Law School. And we are here today to show you around this spectacular campus um, of Stetson University College of Law. Hello everybody, my name is Marcus Scott. I am a 2L here at Stetson. This originally was not a law school. It was a military base and it was a hotel as well. The main law school actually started on our main campus in Deland, Florida, which is north of Orlando. And it started over there and pretty much operated for about 50 years before we actually moved to this campus. While we're walking through campus, you're gonna to get to see some of that original architecture that we've kept throughout. We're now at another part of this campus, another beautiful vantage point too. You can kind of see the beautiful archway above us. This is the main horseshoe drive, and, a, and apart from that, or just beyond that, is the Great Hall. There's many events that go on in there. When it was the old resort hotel, it was actually the old dining room. It's a real utility part of our campus, so events in there, a lot of receptions, parts of graduation ceremonies, anything to celebrate. It's a big part of our Great Hall. Here we are in the beautiful Banyan Courtyard as part of the Stetson Law Campus. Um, you can actually see it's duly named. There are two huge banyan trees out here, so it's a beautiful spot. We actually have a lot of student events out here, and a lot of these events usually start in the Mann Lounge. It was named after Walter Mann. He was originally on the Board of Overseers. They'll be in there, and there'll be a continuation out here. It really just becomes a nice, tranquil, quiet place out here outside of the classroom as well. We are at the Student Center with a beautiful place um, on campus for our students to also find another outlet. So in between your study is keeping that right balance of studying and taking care of yourself. Wellness is a big thing for Stetson. Also in the Student Center is the Office of Career and professional development. They're really kind of an integral part of the professional development that goes on here at Steps. And through that, they have a robust on-campus recruiting program to help prepare you for interviews. A lot of employers are happy about employing and interviewing Stetson students. A lot of students coming from big campuses where parking is an issue. It's kind of a unique benefit here too because you don't pay anything for parking here. I mean, you just mostly just drive up and park and walk in. Being in a situation where you could be in a hurry and trying to find parking, not having to leave a lot in advance could be a real time saver for you. Stetson's a very close campus. A lot of these houses around here some of them are Stetson owned. Well, these are very close proximity, so a lot of our students also walk instead of drive. Stetson's also a very military friendly school too. You can probably see in the background too, that building up there is Stetson's Veterans Law Institute. We have a, a number of veterans here that have come after their service, that have come on to continue with veterans law issues. Some of our graduates have gone on to work at the Department of Veterans Affairs, et cetera. They've worked at the Pentagon. It does create like a nice opportunity for them to continue the elements of their service too. Stetson has well over 350 clinics and externships to offer our students during their time at Stetson. They're highly encouraged to participate. In the state of Florida, Stetson was the first to actually start clinical education. And amongst many other things, there's a lot of firsts for Stetson too, being sort of a trailblazer when it comes to legal education in the state of Florida. Here we are in the Eliezer courtroom. It's really not your average courtroom that is on probably many law school campuses. There's a lot of unique features to this courtroom. If you can see on the floor, there's actually this green border. And the green border is really sort of for somebody that maybe had some sight um, and some vision issues, they would be able to tell shading differentials. You can kind of see the red diamonds here that indicates there's a row. Same thing with the desktop too. They're all two tones, so you can kind of see where the desktops and starts. Even the height of these chairs, they're all perfectly for if somebody's in a motorized car or some type of scooter, et cetera, too. There's air ducts in here as well, too. These air ducts are really quiet air ducts, and they're way at the top of the corners of the wall. They're really quiet, so they don't actually impede um, anything that can you can hear the proceedings at the front of the courtroom. There's individual microphones all around the room to make sure that you can always hear with these screens that are located around the room, but also you can kind of see and hear everything that the proceedings going on in the courtroom. As you can see actually behind this is the jury deliberation room. So there actually is a spot for a real jury to go out and deliberate and come back in. Some of your smaller classes might be in here, 40 students or less, but they actually are used for students to get to use those trial ad skills. It's really a unique courtroom to provide equal access to the courts and it's a big showcase of our courtrooms, which we have seven here in our community. Here we are just outside um, the classrooms here at Stetson, outside of Classroom A. Classroom A is probably our largest classroom on campus. That's where orientation is held as well. Student-faculty ratio here at Stetson is about 13 to 1, so it's always going to feel like kind of very personable. The way we harbor that classroom environment, everyone's adults here. We've all been to some sort of schooling before. 
So it's a very good environment to learn. You go back and forth in a very adult-like and a very procedural type of manner. So the classroom harbor is a very good environment. Here we are in Stetson's Dolly and Homer Hand Law Library. Three stories, the higher you go, the quieter it is. It's about a 20 year old library. In fact, it was Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg that actually dedicated our library. Stetson's um, library actually has more study rooms in his law library than any other law school in the country. The librarians all have their JDs as well. Their motto is basically, if you spent 10 minutes, you wasted 10 minutes, so by all means, go to them. It's all part of Stetson's sort of welcoming community. They're here to help you be successful. Moving to another beautiful part of our campus, you can see these beautiful arches and the architecture is still um, a really nice captivating part of our community. You can kind of see through the arches, we'll be going into a large courtyard there called Plaza Mayor. One of the biggest events that we hold out there is actually graduation. Kind of like the Banyan Courtyard though, it is a nice tranquil place to come study. Right in the forefront is, is one of our fountains. It's all part of the original resort of the Royal Hotel back from the 1920s. As we kind of go down here, a lot of kind of historical significance in places on this campus too. It's been said, and I think it can be confirmed, that Babe Ruth actually signed his last contract with the New York Yankees right here on this campus. And there's a fountain down there that apparently he had flicked a coin in to wish him luck in his 10th World Series at that time. Over here, you can see where a lot of the dorms are that have been converted to um, from old hotel suites that have been converted to dorms. So a lot of students live here. And on the second and third floor up here, you can kind of see where that happens as well. So a lot of these go on so for a lot of students, they like to live right on campus. They have full access to the library. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, swipe card access. So it's a good sort of access point to you and, and it's a nice proximity to get anywhere to the beach within 10 minutes, to be in downtown St. Pete within 10 minutes as well. Here we are at sort of the final stage of our tour. Thank you for joining us. We certainly had a good time sharing this beautiful campus with you. So many law schools actually don't look like this, so it's a real pleasure to share it with you. Hopefully you've got a chance to maybe see yourself in this space and take advantage of all the opportunities that Stetson has, including this really special academic learning environment where everyone is here just for the law students. And we really hope that you got to see everything that you were looking forward to seeing and make you feel like this could be the environment for you three years you know, part-time four years that hopefully you really can just see yourself, this can become home. I hope that you will continue to reach out to us and ask us questions and, and give us the opportunity to share more about Stetson Law.